Talking across the room, talking up the room to me. Zach, please. Well, I counted um, the circles and everyone, and I saw it went up by two every time. Okay, so you can start by counting. One, three, five, seven. So we see a change of two, of two, of two. And we assume it just keeps going up two, right? Yeah. All right, so that's a good start. And then I did 33 times 2. 33 times 2. Okay. And that got me uh, 66. 66. And then I subtracted by 1. Why did you subtract 1? Because the first one won't, uh, only has 1, and you multiply it by 2 every time. Okay, well, I was talking about this just like. So what Zach gave you like confidence that you should subtract one? Can you explain that again? Because we got a little bit interrupted there. Well, I just did it because uh, the first one only had one, and you uh -huh. you multiply it by two every time. Multiply by two? Like to get to sixty-six, you did thirty-six times two, okay. and the first one isn't two. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's like label this stuff. Let's label it with. Yeah, we're just labeling what Zach did and why he did it, right? So, uh, 33 because that's the figure, right? Figure number 33. Mm -hmm. And then two. Why? Why two? Because it goes up by two. Okay, so that's like a rate of change. Rate of change. Yeah, the change is two. How much does it change? It changes two. Okay, and then it's, this is the one I think that. Controversy. I don't think anybody disagrees with why this makes sense, right? Yeah. Minus one, because you're saying because this has one in it. Okay, that has <laughs> one, uh, one circle in figure one. Yeah, Emma, you have a question? Yeah, so um, I thought you were supposed to do 32 and then times two and then plus one. Okay, well, looks like. I mean, your math career will be much healthier and easier if you don't concentrate on what we're supposed to have done. Okay, so like if, if somebody finds a different way to do it that makes sense, then it's okay. They can do it that way. You can do. Can I do it this way? We can talk about that. But okay, so we'll, we'll talk about can we do it that way? Does that way work? Does that way make sense? But right now we're talking about Zach's. Okay. So 33 times 2, 66 minus 1 does give us 65. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But well, I want to talk about that minus 1. To, to talk about it, let's apply the exact same approach to this guy here. It wouldn't work. Uh, so so let, let's see what happens. Okay, We know we should get 205, right? Because I wrote down the wrong answer, you all corrected me, and I fixed it. Right? 205. So Zach already said it's not going to work, right? So, well, let's just see it not work. Because we're going to use the same logic, and then we're going we're to ask ourselves, you know, what, what conclusions should we draw? What should we change about what we do? Okay, so number two, here we go. If we follow this logic, we want figure 52, right? So 52, because that's the number, the number of the figure, times what? Four. Why four? Because it goes up by four. One to five to nine. nine, so on and so on. Okay. Now if we, so, okay, yeah, I gotta write that four down. Four because it goes up by four, right? Which seems like pretty sound logic, right? Figure 52, it's every figure gets four more than the previous figure, so 52 times four seems to make sense. Uh, but then just minus, now what would I minus if I was using the, the same logic as, a, as we used here? Why? Because the logic is what? Because we started, we started from two, not one. Like, because we started from two. We didn't start from two. We're, we're starting from one. Well, oh, because it didn't. There's only one. At the end. So okay, so figure number one has one in it, and that's what Zach was saying. He subtracted one for. It, okay, because there's one in figure one. So just subtract the number of, of squares you see in figure one, and the number of circles you see in figure one. See what I'm saying? It's logic. I'm, I'm going over this and over this and over this because it's 
it's a piece of logic that a lot of people are using. Right? So let's look at whether or not it works. So minus 1, because of the 1 square in figure 1, well, what does that give us? 52 times 4 minus 1. We'll have the ability to multiply, or at least calculate it, right? 52 times 4. Right there. 208. 208. Oh, minus one, two, minus one. 207. 207, yeah, 207. But it should be 205. Isn't it 206? Can you get it? Maybe? No, but so 4 times 50 is 200, 4 times 2 is 8, right? So 208 minus 1, 207. Okay? But you can believe me that it should have 205. Close, but not quite. So, what should we conclude then? <coughs> what, what, yeah, okay. Jason? You should do 51 times 4 and then add the 1. You should do 51 times 4 and then add the 1. Okay, well, let's yeah. see if we can. Because what I want to do is have each piece of it make sense to us, right? Rather than just telling you what to do. Let's have each piece make sense. Uh, okay, so let's try that instead. I'm going to leave it because this does give us the right number. There's some logic that definitely works here, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go to here. So 52, let's, let's just like erase this. What, just subtract 1 51. 51. Let's just put the reasoning for subtracting 1. Let's kind of get rid of that. Maybe we have to explain it a different way. So 51, not 52, times 4. Okay, someone explain that to me. Why 51? I want to go to figure, figure 52. Emma? Because you go up, and you go, you go up to 52, but you don't go down. Oh, you start with the one, so it only goes up 51 places. Okay, so I start at 1, and I want to get to 52, and so tell me why 51. Because you started out, because you start out by going from 1 to 2. So that so one so like we can establish a pattern going up to figure two would only take one four right we can only go up four one time not two times just one time if I want to go to figure three likewise I have to go up four and another four I only went up twice I didn't go up three times to get to figure three right so if I want to go from one to fifty two I have, I only actually have to go over 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 fifty one times. And every time I go over to the next figure, I add on four. So that's like almost a definition of 51 times four, right? 51 fours added together is 51 times four, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. right? Okay, and then JC, you said the last part was to, okay, so let me just put the logic here. So what did you call this? Jumps? Yeah. Okay, let's call them jumps. Jumps from one, to 52. Okay? Is that alright? It's a little messy, is that okay? All right. yeah. And yeah. 4 because? That's how much it changes. You see a, a common thing here. That's the, as, as, uh, as Zach said, the rate of change. It changes by 3 every figure. Uh, okay, now you said add 1. Now why add 1? Because, like, you start at 1, so you have to add that 1. Okay, good, good. That makes sense to me. Does that make sense to other people? Yeah. Okay. But Emma, it seemed like maybe you had something you could add on or say that's, differently? That's what I was going to say. Like, you didn't start with like, just one. Or you started with one, but you didn't have it added on there. Yeah, so if we didn't add it on, our mm -hmm. calculation would be like assuming we had zero. We start with zero, yeah. and we just go up by four from there. But we don't start with zero. We start with one, so we add on that one. And there's the change all the way up to figure 52. OK. So that, I feel like that, uh, 1 in figure 1. I feel like that makes sense to me. Like I, I get why I would add on the extra 1 that I had from the beginning. But this minus 1 here it just doesn't sit right with me that I would, like, there's 1 in figure 1. So subtract it? Well, it's because you, um, because instead of you multiplied it, like you were going to 52, but you started out with zero. And so 
or well, that you started out with four instead of one. Oh, I'm talking about this one up here. Oh, well, that you started out with. What's up with this minus one? What does that work? Uh, that works because you started out with one, but you acted, you multiplied as if you started out with two. You multiply it like you started out with two. Instead of one. So, like if you were just to go 33 times 2, it would be as if figure 1 had two circles in it instead of one. So you would subtract one. Oh, that's right. Okay. I see that. Okay. What do you think, Jackson? What would you say about it? Well, you know, honestly, I have to subtract one. I, on the second one, where we got 205, oh, they went down one because there was already one in the first spot. Um, they just times that by how many times it goes up, uh -huh. and then they added it later on. Right, and so I think that's what I'm saying. This thing, I feel like that explanation, I feel like more people are on board with it, and it makes sense to, to more people. There's no denying that this is going to also work, right? 33 times 2 minus 1 works. And I can tell you, if you want to figure 107 and you plug 107 in there, times 2 and subtract 1, you get it. You get the right answer. So why? But, you know, subtracting 1 because there's one square to start with, one circle to start with, it doesn't make sense. And it doesn't work for this one. It doesn't work for this second. So what's up with that? How about if we, if we try this uh, discussion? 50, we want to figure 52, but if we do 52 times 4, what would we have to subtract? Mm -hmm. You get the right answer. One. No. We should come out with 205. Three. Subtract 3. Right? This is 208. Subtract 3. You get 205. Why, why do you get three? three? Like, why Where does three, three come three? from? Hmm. It seems like there's these two ways. Like, one way you could subtract off something, you still get the right answer, but you use the, the number of the figure. Or you can uh, use one less than a number of figure, which we can call the number of jumps, to get from one to that figure, and then add on that extra bit right there. Right? They're both working. I mean, we need some kind of an explanation why that's working. Because it does. Because it does. Yeah? So when you do 52 times 4 minus 3, uh -huh. like, some people wouldn't get where you'd get the 3 from. So I think sense. a lot of people don't know where that three's coming from, right? Yeah. Where's that, where that three coming from? I don't know. I don't know. But it works, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, try it for three. Try it for figure number three. Three times four is 12. Minus three. Nine. Does that have a nine? Yeah. No, I have a ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. So I'll be counted the middle one twice. Somehow, for some reason, it works. How weird. Okay, there is there is some logic on it. But uh, which way feels like it makes more sense? Like you just are catching on to it, and, and you could do it that way and be given a pattern that increases by a, a constant rate, and figure out what's in whatever figure you want. It feels like that you could do that by show of hands. Let me look, let me see who maybe did do it. The homework. Especially mm -hmm. number two here. Who did what? Question? Yes. So why can't the money? Okay, well let's
asking why the thing all is. Well, because it's weird. Uh, why didn't you pour the juice up before you put it in the bottle? Yeah. Let's, Let's talk about this one. Let's <laughs> talk about this one. Uh, I want you to use this one. We have already worked with it a little bit. Let's see if you can find how many are in uh, figure 103. Let's see how many we can figure out how many are in figure 103. Let's just all shout out what we got. Three hundred seven. 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 Five and nineteen. Okay. So figure one has seven, two has ten, three has thirteen, four has sixteen, so on and so on and so on, right? So every time we go to the next figure, is that? What do we do every time we go to the next figure? Go up by three. Go up by three. Do we all agree that we go up by three? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we go up by three every time. If we want to go to figure 103, we start at figure one and we want to go up to 103. And how many times do we have to go up to get there? 102. 102. Yeah. Explain why 102. I said 102. False. <laughs> Explain, please. I want to go. I just want to walk along this series of, of shapes. From figure one, I want to go all the way up to figure 103. So imagine, like, every time I take a step, I'm at the next figure, right? So I take one step, I'm at the second one, and I'm at the third one, and the fourth one. Okay, so I start at figure one. And I want to get all the way to 103. How many steps do I have to take? Um, a lot. A lot. <laughs> How many, and why? Because um, you want to get there. And like 302, maybe. Oh. 302, maybe. <laughs> You're asking a question, I don't know. <laughs> Starting at figure one. Right? Uh -huh. Okay. See, I want to get to figure three. How okay. many steps do I have to take to get to figure three? Two. Lane, the person I'm looking right at, how many steps do I have to take to get to figure seven? Seven. Okay, let's watch. Seven, yeah. Start at one, and I'm gonna get to figure seven. All right. I take how many steps have I taken so far? I don't know. Three. <laughs> one, three. Oh my god. One, Wait, one every step. Time, every time you take a step. Shh. Oh. Just okay, giving someone an answer doesn't. One step. Take one. So if I if I get go from figure one to figure two, I've taken one step to get there. Mm -hmm. Step. Now I'm at figure two. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's do that. Do that same thing. Let's say I'm going to walk from one all the way to four. How many steps do I have to take? Four steps. Let's try. I, I take a step. One step. How many steps now? Two. How many steps now? Three. What figure are we on? Four. How many steps did we take? Three. To get step to get to figure number four. Okay. So let's say we want to go to figure ten. How many steps do I have to take? Nine. Explain why. Because um, you said it was three steps from four, so you did. You said it was three steps to four, so why would it be nine steps to ten? Because it's going up one every time. Okay. So you already at one, you go up to nine, you're at ten. <laughs> so I'm really condescending for somebody who was saying they had no idea a couple of minutes ago. I'm just saying. Come on, four <laughs> You go to the office. Okay. Uh, all right. So, who wants to explain why it's nine steps to get to figure 10? It's not because it's not nine steps to figure 10. I don't 
Starting at one, every time I ask that question, I mean, Perfect. starting at one, we have to go how far? Uh, nine steps to get to ten. Okay, because we're already at one, right? One step gets us to two, two steps to three, three steps to four, four steps to five, right? And, well, how many steps to get to, this is going to be a little bit of a tricky one, to get to figure X, how many steps does it take? X, oh. Y, it takes one step to get to X. One step to get to X? It takes one. No, 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 what, once it does, what are you going to do with it? Subtract, Subtract one from it. So, it's like, a, like the most simple formula in the world. If I give you x, you're going to take x and do what with it? Subtract one. X minus one. Yeah. X minus one is the number of steps to get to figure x. Right? That's kind of a nice little thing. That's like a consistent thing we could use through all of these, right? Right. As long as we're always stepping from figure one to two to three and so on, right? Then every time I want to get to figure x, how many steps is it? One. Or minus one. X minus one. X minus one. Yes. X minus one. Yes. One less than x, right? Okay. So before we got a little bit sidetracked on that discussion. Okay. So to get 103, to go to a hundred, figure 103, how many steps is it? Two. Everybody agree? Yeah. Yeah. Under two steps to get to figure 103. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So 102. I guess now we're calling it steps because uh, instead of jumps, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Steps sound cool. More what? More better. Okay, we'll use the more better sounding one. 102 steps to get to figure 103. Now every time we go up one step, what happens to the figure? It gains three. It gains three, right? And we, we, we wrote where it gains three. There, there, and there. One, two, three. Okay, so if I take 102 steps and every time I take a step, I go up by three whatevers. Stairs. Then how many will I go up by if I go up to figure 103? You'll go up 102 stairs. And each step is worth how much? So how do we calculate the total change from figure one to figure 103? 102 steps of three each. 102 times three, right? That's multiplication right there. That's the definition of multiplication. 306. So times three. 306. Plus how many? You have to add seven because figure one is seven. Figure one has seven. Good job. Just doing this just calculates how many to add on, right? But add on to what? Add on to seven. Good job. We started with seven. Okay, add on, add on the original figure, add on seven. So we should have 313, ding, 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 right there. No, no, wait, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, what do you guys say? Does that make more sense? Yes. Okay, all right. It's not making sense. I'm going to submit for your consideration that maybe you're having not the best attitude. I think you all were witness to not a great attitude earlier. That's not helpful. That's a distraction as well. Oh, yes, you can move in the office as well. What's up, the office? Now, now I'm going to. Give you a pattern. You're going to take it from beginning to end. Tell me how many are in such and such a figure. Okay? But, you know, it's not too big a deal. We take so many steps, right? For x steps, how, or sorry, for x, x figure, to get to figure x, how many steps do we take? X minus 
minus one. One less than whatever x is, right? 103, 102 steps to get to 103 from one. Okay. Uh, and then you know that's we can count how much we add on, but we have to add it on to something. Add it on to what we start with. We started with seven in this case, right? So add on the original figure. Jackson. Um, when you give us the pattern, do we have to like draw out the pattern? A little bit? That's extra work we don't need to worry about. You could write, you know, the, the number of the figure and how many are in the figure, and that would be a, a faster way of doing it. Yes? Um, wait, you just said if someone could tell an example, I'm pretty sure. Like you just said pick a number and tell me. Okay, whatever. Maybe when I was talking about x? Yeah. No, what I was saying about x is that x could, it represents any number, right? And as we try to become more algebra-minded, an example of being algebra-minded is being able to say, well, for x steps, or sorry, for the x figure, we take x minus one steps. We just take one away from x, and that's how many steps we would take to get there. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's see how we do. Again, to walk you through every bit of it, Okay. Well, let's write down the calculation and we'll explain the calculation. So what's the calculation look like? Diana? The calculation looks like this. It looks like 2, 34 oh. times 3. Looks like 2, 34 times 3? Yeah. And I will explain this, too, because you start out with 3. And as I counted how many squares you go up, you go up 3 every time. So it wouldn't make very much of a difference if you went three uh, or two thirty-three times three plus three, because it would be the same as just going two thirty-four times three. That's huge. This dude is good. Uh, yes, it's a good observation. I didn't even notice that when I was making this up. It, we do gain three on each of these, but I mean, there's one three, right? And there's another three, and another three, and another three. How many steps does it take to get from the first figure to the 234th figure? 234? 233. 233. Yeah. To get there. To get there. To get there. To get there. So it would take me one step, two steps, three steps, four steps, 233 steps to get to figure 234. From this guy right here. Duh. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so let's look at that, that one on the right there. So I take 233 steps of three each. Okay, so that figures out how many more squares to add on. Yeah, and you get 699. And then you would? Add three. Add three more. Which would get you 702. 702. Which is the or same. As it would be the same as, you know what it would be the same as? I think it's gonna help us explain this, uh, why does minusing work phenomenon? Okay. Okay, to do a little extra room. Okay, let me move this over. What Tiana noticed, without maybe saying it this way, is imagine you started back here before figure one, right? And you went up from there. Well, now how many steps is it to get to figure one? One. And it just so happens that it follows the pattern. Like it goes from zero blocks to three blocks. And then from three blocks to six blocks, and from six blocks to nine blocks. Excuse me, interruption. Right? Students, please remember that today is the last day to make schedule changes. If you have not turned in assigned schedule change request form, your schedule will not be changed. Please see Mrs. Williams today if you need a schedule change. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so, Tiana said, you know, it's not like she was, she's not confused. Right? She knows that 233 times 3 plus 3 is the way we've been doing it, and that makes sense. But she said, you know, adding three, one more 3 out is the same as just taking 234 times 3. It's just kind of a coincidence. So it, it comes to starting like at figure number zero. zero, right? The figure that comes before figure 1 would be figure 0. What would the figure before that be? Negative, negative 1. Three, negative three. But it would, yeah, it would have negative 3 blocks, but it would be called figure negative 1. Right? Yeah. Figure negative yeah. one would have negative three blocks. Mm -hmm. And that right there, that idea of going following the figure the uh, pattern backwards, if you think about that, if you give it some, some thought, 
that's the explanation of why the minusing approach also works. Think about how many are in figure zero. If you go to these other examples we have, following this pattern, how many, how many circles would be in figure zero here? Negative one. Negative one, right? Because it goes up by two. So if we go back by two from one, we'd have negative one circles. Yeah. What about this pattern? How many would be in figure zero here? Negative four. This is actually way easier than what we've been doing. Yeah. Yeah. Like I actually get this a lot. Yeah. It's only easier because you have practice with exactly what we're doing. If I taught it, talked to you like this the first day, you would have been completely blown out of the water. Okay. Thanks for a good class. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you.